millions of gullible people still believe what Toyota is telling us about batteries. Toyota has told us we can't go electric. It would not be possible. There's not enough batteries to go around. There simply is only around one gigawatt hour per car in terms of battery production, meaning there is in fact only about 5% of the batteries we need for electrification worldwide. Well, we're already at more than 10% worldwide, so obviously Toyota was pretty wrong on those numbers, but actually the truth is completely different to what Toyota is saying. In fact, information that has just come out of China says that there is already enough battery capacity worldwide for the entire planet, as in once the battery factories that are currently being built as in in construction right at this moment, once they're completed, we have enough battery capacity for the entire global car industry. Sounds crazy, but it's actually true. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. Let's get straight into this because it's very interesting to see these numbers. China is freaking out. Seriously, China is freaking out. They're saying we've just crunched the numbers. There's a $1.4 billion solid state battery factory that has just begun being built. And the industry is going, hang on a minute, CATL, right? The world's biggest battery manufacturer who is one of Tesla's, well, Tesla's biggest battery supplier. They're of course located in China. They've had to actually pause a lot of their production lines are just gathering dust because they're only at 60% production right now, 60%. Tomorrow, if they had the orders, they could increase production by 40%. They would add more than 100 gigawatt hours of production, of battery production within the space of a very short period of time. But the key reason they haven't done that is the demand is not there yet. And now that this new company, this new solid state battery company is beginning to build a $1.4 billion battery facility. The Chinese government has done the numbers, the industry has done the numbers and they've gone, oh shit, we have made a mistake. It's very interesting because China are saying, we've done the numbers now, we know how many batteries have been produced, not only in China, but in the US as well and in Europe. I mean, look at all the battery factories being made in the US right now, massive numbers of them. A lot of them you haven't even heard about because they're just not big known brands. There's a lot of them, there's like a lithium ion phosphate battery company, there's Goshan High Tech, there's LG Chem, there's SK Innovation, there's so many battery companies, there's obviously BMW's battery partner, there's Tesla, the list goes on and on. Ford wants to build a factory factory now for CATL, LFP batteries, but all of that, if you put everything going on in the US right now, it's nothing in comparison to the number of battery factories in China and the number of battery factories that are actually being built right now in China. And the Chinese are starting to say, you know what, this is insane. We've overbuilt. There is apparently four times more production capacity than is needed. Four times more. The current global car industry has hit nearly 15% EV. Nearly, it's on the way to 15% EV. It's pretty close. By the end of this year, we'll be at 15%. Uh, China is saying alone here, we have four times more capacity than we need. Then you've got new factories being built. There's one that's making sodium ion, well, actually sodium solid state batteries. There's another company that has actually just commercialized mass production of sodium batteries. There's so much happening. It's ridiculous. When you actually crunch the numbers, you realize that by the time the battery factories that are actually being built right now, by the time they're completed, well, that's it. We have all the batteries we need. And I'm not talking about just cars here. I'm talking about cars and energy storage. Now I'll have a new video coming showing you all the details here, where all the factories are. Well, I don't know all of them in China, no one does, but yeah, there's a lot of them. And that's what the problem is. Nobody knew just how many there were until very recently. Jiangxi Yudian New Energy Technology broke ground on a new US 1.4 billion solid state facility with a planned annual capacity of 10 gigawatt hours when fully operational. Solid state batteries can offer up to 500 watts per kilo in energy density in the footprint of current EV cells with liquid electrolytes and are much less prone to thermal runaway. What this means is they might say, we're building a factory for 50 gigawatt hours of production or 100 or whatever it is. But because the energy densities are much higher than they used to be, now, you know, energy density in the past might have been, say, 140 watts per kilo. Now they're looking at 300 watts per kilo for not even solid state batteries, meaning production capacity is double what it used to be or double what it appears to be because the energy density of the batteries is doubled. Therefore, you don't need as many of the batteries. Clearly, China is right. There will be an oversupply. So the same thing that's happening to the electric car market in China will happen in the battery scene. What does this mean for you? This means the price of batteries will continue to come down. And when I say come down, I mean electric cars within 24 months will be cheaper than gasoline powered cars. If you're willing to buy a Chinese one in particular as well. But remember, many global suppliers are supplied 
by China. In particular, Tesla and BYD. The two biggest car manufacturers in the world, obviously batteries come from China. The 10 gigawatt hour solid state battery plant in construction seems to have sparked overcapacity fears in China. And the reason is this, China will be producing 5,000 gigawatt hours of batteries by 2025. 5,000, that is insane. This is four times the amount that local manufacturers, including Tesla, need and will result in an EV battery glut just when the US and Europe are also battling for electric vehicle battery market share, not just EV battery market share, but also, but also energy storage market share. And they're gonna be battling China who will be selling these batteries at cost price. Now, here's another example. The solid state battery manufacturer Prologium recently said that it has chosen France for its US 5.9 billion factory with a capacity of 48 gigawatt hours. Now, because that energy density is gonna be extremely high, that's like the equivalent to a couple of years ago, 120 or 130 gigawatt hours. In China, a few other large solid state battery factory plans have been announced too. Their initiators, the company called TNE is one of them, and they're in partnership with the world's largest lithium refiner, Gan Feng Lithium. TNE says that its 12 gigawatt hour plant will aim to lower solid state battery prices for EVs and, and help them to hit cost parity, or in fact, be below the price of a gasoline powered vehicle, but be superior. Now, my key question to you is, these companies, these Chinese companies are actually building the factories to make solid state batteries right now. Toyota is saying, number one, we don't have enough batteries for electric cars to be a thing, for even to have 50% market share. In, in fact, they're saying we don't have enough for, for them, like I said, to be for the 10% market share. But it turns out we have actually exponentially more batteries than Toyota claims. In addition to that, it turns out that Chinese companies, as well as US companies, are actually building the production lines and factories for solid state battery production. So Toyota has been caught out in two lies. One, that there is no near enough batteries for us to have EVs, so therefore bad, don't have, don't buy them. Number two is that their solid state battery claims are, well, we already know they're fake, but we know that they don't have a facility yet. They don't have a production line. They have simply a prototype, which they're unwilling to show anyone. Very different to companies like the ones in the US that are willing to say, here is what we're doing, here's what we've done, and you can have a look at it. Now, speaking of solid state batteries in China, solid state batteries are one of the ways for startups to compete with the two biggest battery manufacturers in the world, CATL and BYD. It's very difficult to compete with them on lithium ion phosphate batteries or even LMFP, M3P batteries, lithium ion phosphate batteries with manganese. Try competing with that and you have no hope. But if you make solid state batteries, different equation. Yangtze Yudian has has patents for its solid state battery on a new silicon carbon anode material, which is said to solve the challenge of silicon, which expands and then degrades over time. According to industry executive David Zhang, a 10 gigawatt hour capacity is not a small battery production project for solid state batteries. He said solid state batteries might represent the future of the industry, but overcapacity woes are looming already. China is probably right. I'm pretty sure they're right. In fact, think about it. Six of the 10 biggest battery companies are located in China and they're not slowing down production. I mean, they're building, look at BYD, they're building new battery factories all over the place, including in Europe and of course, in Thailand as well. So what does this mean? This means more negotiating power for companies like Tesla, meaning of course, cheaper batteries. If you've got more supplies, you have to fight with each other for your business, the price comes down. Tesla has 40% Chinese battery companies in its supply chain. And that was the reason why Tesla initially reduced, it said its Model 3 standard range didn't qualify for the tax incentives for the battery portion of the incentive, meaning it only qualified for half of the incentive. However, Tesla was able to prove that the lithium was coming, I believe, from Australia. So then it did qualify. But in the future, it won't matter if just the lithium is coming from Australia. The cells will actually have to be produced in North America. So I believe what Tesla will plan to do is to simply use this battery technology from these Chinese competitors in Mexico. They'll set up shop in Mexico and build a factory, probably CATL will build one that will supply possibly Ford and Tesla, or Ford will build a factory and Tesla will build one and license the technology from CATL. Now, either way, this all leads us to one conclusion. That is that battery pack prices will continue to come down. Companies are popping up out of nowhere all over the world. They have factories being built in so many different countries and investors have poured billions and billions of dollars into these factories. Not only have investors poured this money into them, 
governments have poured money in as well. Toyota made a mistake, a colossal mistake. And we're going to look back in time and say, remember when Toyota said this? How ridiculous was that? My friends, by 2025, once these battery factories have been completed, there will be enough lithium and sodium batteries to power every single car in the world. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.